When dangerous storms approach, most people flee. Not 21-year-old Jonas Piantek. His popular lightning photographs result from staying put in the face of certain danger. Lake Maracaibo and the Catatumbo storms is one of the greatest experiences you will ever get. Sitting here at night watching the stars with continuous lightning flashing all around you, getting hit by some really strong storms, the thunder, the lightning, that's what makes this place so special for me. Lake Maracaibo, Venezuela is the lightning capital of the world, where locals know the near daily phenomena as the never-ending storm. The menacing atmosphere ignites Piantec's passion and creativity. Electrified, he snaps away, striving to capture the weather's beauty one flash at a time. I started with photography in 2011 when I found out that my dad has a very good camera, so I just grabbed it, went outside and shot everything. My interest in weather started the same year uh, as my interest started in photography when a tornado ravaged parts of, of a town close to my hometown. I started to search for, for pictures and found some people out of my city that are actually hunting for storms, that are chasing those storms. And I started riding along with them, seeing and experiencing everything they were experiencing. Jonas is a surprising young man. That was one cool storm. I just love these bolts shooting down. That is cool. His ability as a photographer and the way he's centered for his age is pretty impressive. Being published in great magazines such as the New York Times is a great feeling for me because I think people acknowledge my work and people like my work and what I like about shooting weather is you won't get the same picture twice. The weather is changing so quickly, especially when you have storms out there, that you basically have one chance to get the picture you want. Jonas has been captured by something very similar that I was captured by more than 20 years ago. It's an enormous passion for what happens here. Lake Maracaibo is a place that not many people have traveled to yet. Such an amazing combination of wildlife, of culture, and of course, this spectacular phenomenon of lightning. This is probably my favorite place on this planet. The Caratumbo lightning is like a creature. It's something that appears every night. Actually, just 30 kilometers in that direction is the one point on Earth with most lightning strikes. These lightning strikes reach 250 per square kilometer per year. You have to treat lightning with respect and you have to consider if a storm is far enough away to actually get the shots you want. When the storm starts closing in, you have to decide if you should move in and take shelter. The weather shifts in just half a minute. Generally, the storm is not only the lightning, it's also sometimes hurricane force winds, tornadoes, all sorts of formations of clouds and very heavy rain. One could describe this place turns to hell at night for some people. Of course, it's amazing for me, but there's so much lightning, so much storms around. Lightning is the pure force of nature. It's something that is actually dangerous, but beautiful together. This lightning phenomenon here, it's just the perfect topography. It's an enormous body of very, very warm water, approximately 16, 17,000 kilometers of warm, very low-lying water, and it's totally surrounded by mountains. On this map here, you can actually see by satellite the image of the storms forming out. And you have the Andes almost going around the whole lake. And they will start pushing down the cold wind at night towards the lake, which creates this special atmospheric condition to actually produce extremely intense lightning storms. The biggest challenge of shooting lightning is to decide which aperture you're going to use. You have to do your best to actually capture this whole experience at once but you will never really get the full thing captured. Capturing weather and capturing storms especially is a great feeling because I can share with the world what I'm experiencing as a traveler, as a storm chaser, and as someone who, who puts himself in, into this danger to get the pictures and the experience I want. It's just something that humanity can't influence and you will feel very, very small when you're in front of a huge storm and that's the best feeling for me that I can possibly get.